The sum of the first n natural numbers is given by the formula s is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 all over 2. Use the formula to calculate the sum of the first 50 natural numbers. And so here we have this formula, and in this case, n is equal to 50. So wherever we see n, we're going to put 50. And so we have 50 here because n is here. And we have 50 here because n is here. And so here we add, we say 50 plus 1. And 50 plus 1 is definitely 51. So we have 50 times 51 all over 2. And 50 times 51 is going to be equal to 2,550. So 50 times 51 is 2,550. And we have to divide that by 2. So 2,550 divided by 2 is going to be equal to 1,275. So that means that the sum of the first 50 natural numbers, so that means that the sum of the first 50 natural numbers is going to be equal to 1,275. And so that's our answer here. Next we have to use the formula to calculate the amount of natural numbers that add up to 210. So in this case, we have to figure out what n is going to be. Now, previously, we knew what n was. n was 50. And we just had to figure out what s is. And we found that s is equal to 1,275. But in this case, we have to figure out what n is going to be, the amount of natural numbers n that add up to 210. So in this case, we know that S is 210. And so we substitute that, so we have 210. And our goal is to figure out what must N be such that S is 210. And so here, what we do is we switch, we switch the equation. So we have N open bracket N plus one all over two is equal to 210. Next we distribute. And so we say that N multiplied by n, and then we have n multiplied by one. And so let's multiply. n times n is n squared, and n times one is n. So we have n squared plus n all over two is equal to 210. Next, we take 210 and we put it over one. And so we're able to cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, we have the following. We have one times n squared plus n, and we have two times four, and we have two times 220. I'm sorry, we have two times 210. So when we cross multiply, we have one times n squared plus n, and then we have two times 210. Now two times 210 is equal to 420, and one times n squared plus n is equal to n squared plus n. And so we have n squared plus n is equal to 420. Next, we take 420 and we send it over the equal sign. And so it was positive 420, but when we send it over the equal sign, it becomes negative 420. So we have n squared plus n minus 420 is equal to zero. And so we are able to use the quadratic formula because we have a quadratic equation and our goal is to solve this quadratic equation. And so the quadratic formula is useful in helping us to figure out how to solve a quadratic equation. Now, in this case, the general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the, con and c is the constant, or c is the number by itself. So in our equation, the coefficient of the coefficient of n squared is one. So a is one. That's why we have a is one here, because that's the number in front of n squared. And the number in front of n is going to be b. So b is, in this case, b is also one. Okay. So a is one, b is one. And then c is going to be equal to negative 420. All right. And so what do we have? Well, let me, um, let me show you. We have a is 1 because 1 is the coefficient of n squared. So a is 1. 
B is one because the coefficient of N is one. So A is one, B is one, but C is equal to negative 420. And that's the constant, that's the number by itself. Okay, now that we know what A is, B is, and C is, let's, um, let's, use, our quadratic let's use our quadratic formula to help, us un to help us answer this question. And so using a quadratic formula, we have that N is gonna be equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A, where A is equal to one. So let's substitute that. A is equal to one, so we put one here. A is equal to one, so we put one here. B is equal to one, so we put one here. B is equal to one, so we put one here. And C is equal to negative 240, so we put negative 240 here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to work out the expression underneath the square root. And so we have one squared minus four times one times negative 420. And when we evaluate that, we get 1,681. So the, so we have that, we have to figure what is the square root of 1,681. So we have negative one plus or minus the square root of 1,681. And then we have two times one and two times one is two. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure what is N positive. Now N positive means that we're gonna put the positive sign in between these two terms and evaluate. So the square root of 1,681 is 41. And so we have that N positive is equal to negative one plus 41 all over two. Now negative one plus 41 is definitely 40. So we have 40 over two and 40 over two is 20. So N positive is equal to 20. Next we have to figure out what is N negative because it's plus or minus, right? And so the, when we say n negative, we means that we mean that we have to put the negative sign in between these two terms. And so we have to evaluate the square root of 1,681. And the square root of 1,681 is 41. So we have negative one minus 41 and negative one minus 41 is negative 42. And we have to divide that by two. So negative one times negative 41 is negative 42, but we have to divide it by two. And when we divide it by two, we get negative 21. So N negative is a negative 21. And so what is our answer? Well, our answer is going to be N is equal to 20. And that's because note that N is a natural number. So it must be positive. Therefore we ignore our negative result. So even though we have two values of N that satisfy our quadratic equation, in this case, the only n that works is going to be the one that is positive because it says that we have to calculate, we have to figure out the amount of natural numbers, right? And so natural numbers start from one and they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and continue and continue on and on. So we're looking at positive numbers. So n is a natural number. n has to be positive, right? n has to be positive. So we have to ignore this negative result because they want the amount of natural numbers. All right. And so, and we can't have a negative amount of natural numbers. So we, we can have a positive amount of natural numbers. And so we have to ignore the, the negative result because it doesn't make sense in this question. So we, we could use N is equal to 20. So that's the answer for this particular question. N is equal to 20.